Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing episode number 39, I think it's 39 anyway, of uh, I Build Your Teams, the series where I build my viewers' teams into the best teams possible for my team unlimited and or competitive play based on how much MT they have, what their squad currently looks like, and things like that. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 5,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day, and we're less than 100 subscribers away from that 5K mark. I really appreciate your support if you do subscribe again. I upload every single day often multiple videos a day uh and yeah we really appreciate it, like i said so uh without further ado let's hop right into it let's start off with this first team today which comes in from my boy trent he's got 700k point guards are iggy and mj which is absolutely elite um he's got a solid all-around squad a lot of good cards i think he can definitely make some upgrades to fix this team around and make it a lot better than it already is though uh, and the first thing that i probably would start by doing is moving malik Sealy to the two and bringing richard jefferson off the bench of the two i think that or you just uh, take chris Mullen out of your lineup i think that will help your lineup just a bit having those two guys as your twos and then you start thon maker at the three mobamba's still great at the four and bob mcadoo's great at the backup four but i would move kareem to the backup five and the reason i say that is because i think you can complete the minute minute bullet challenge completely for free you add him to your lineup uh he's seven foot seven he's going to help counter that uh taco yao those two cards minute is right there with those two cards as the best three centers in the game he's completely free gotta pick him up in this lineup 100 and you can have kareem off the bench at the five and the only slot that that leaves open at that point for this squad is going to be your backup small forward position which you could go a couple different ways you could go rudy gay you could go jonathan isaac if you want to pay a little bit less mt but the way that i personally would go would be a guy like uh hero Giannis. he's not crazy expensive at this point really elite small forward in my opinion that would give you two of the best small forwards in the game in thon maker and Giannis, an absolutely elite all-around squad and uh, yeah that would be a team of what mj uh malik Sealy, thon mo and then uh, minute with iggy rj Giannis, bob mcadoo and Cree off the bench that's an elite squad squad you can compete against any team in the game with may is the second team today he's got 80k his uh vc i guess he, he probably means mt on current he's grinding for joel um so he's gonna have joel at some point who can slot in at that power forward position for him or at the center depending on where he wants to run him um uh, actually probably for this team i might still recommend putting him at center i'm not entirely sure though but i will say the first there are a couple upgrades i would make i think one of the first ones is really simple you just swap out zach levine for andre Iguodala, and i think at that point your uh point guard shooting garden both your starters and your bench are super solid Ig or ak and fairy is also a super solid small forward duo definitely no issues there you could upgrade one of those guys to jonathan isaac if you wanted to but it's not a necessity um i think you honestly could keep that out basically the same and at that point you pretty much want to have spent an emt uh, and have an iggy there instead of levine will have be an upgrade to your squad then you have nate thurman bam out of bio me personally i would sell nate thurman and replace him with uh mo, with mo bamba i think mo bamba is better than nate thurman i think they're about the same price as well but mo definitely has more length he's a better overall car better release as well definitely would prefer him at the starting four bam out of bio can still be your backup four if you want and then at the five i would definitely for one I would sell Kareem and David Robinson. I think honestly selling both of those guys is going to be your best course of action. Well, at least once you get Embiid. I think for the tempor temporarily, I think you can move Kareem to the back at five and sell D-Rob. And then once you get Embiid, uh, he can come in somewhere at the four or the five. But I would make sure, again, 100% complete that Manute Bull challenge. Obviously, you're going to be completing it anyway if you're grinding for Joel. But Manute Bull needs to be your starting center again on the squad. Definitely add him. And then you can have Kareem off the bench temporarily until you can replace him with Embiid or something along those lines. You could even play Embiid beat at the four once you get him and mobamba at the back at five something like that but picking up iggy picking up minute and picking up mobamba are the three biggest players to get and then once you get him beat you can slot him in there somewhere as well nick has the next team today he's on, he has 250k mt on current gen got a super solid squad he's got Embiid, yao netaliki and minute which is a really really good uh front court only three of these four cards are free and then yao obviously is one of the best couple centers in the game obviously minute is as well so i like that a lot in his front court his small forwards are also super solid for Nito martin and jonathan isaac rj and anthony edwards while they're not maybe the best small shooting guards in the game they definitely will get the job done at a high level as well your point guard position is kind of the plus spot where i am a little bit questioning on your team and i actually do think you can make a couple of changes with this squad that'll really help you out the first change is just going to be to sell penny hardaway he's too expensive for how good of a card he is he's a good card but i don't think he's worth his price i think you could honestly make pick up two cards you sell penny hardaway and you buy two cards those cards are going to be galaxy opal andre agadala and hero michael jordan you play iggy at the one hero mj at the two and then you pick up one other card and that's going to be hero Dwayne wade coming off the bench so then you have iggy 
Iggy, MJ, Dwayne Wade, and Richard Jefferson as your backcourt. And then your, your front court from the three to the five stays exactly the same. I just think by selling Penny and picking up those three guys, Iggy, Hero, MJ, and Wade, your team's going to be improved a lot. And you're not going to spend a ton of MT either, which is kind of nice because both Iggy and Wade are pretty darn affordable. And with selling Penny, you're probably honestly going to come out around even in terms of MT. You'll still have probably about 100 or 250,000 MT left. Buckshot has the next team today. He's got 100K MT on current. Really solid squad too. This is the type of team that you look at and I don't think you have to make upgrades. You can make upgrades and swaps if you want to. For example, with that 100K MT, you could pick up a guy like Mo Bamba to play the four instead of Arvita Sabonis. Bamba, I do think is a little better than Sabonis, but Sabonis is free. He has elite size and he's a very good card. No doubt about that. Kareem and Taco is incredible. Honestly, Sabonis and Bunu is really good as well. He's got arguably the two best small forwards besides Invincible Giannis in the game. Malik Sealy and Rudy Gay are two elite shooting guard options. And then he has MJ and Wade as his primary ball handlers. So I think this is the type of team that I just like the way it's built. It doesn't have every single top card. It doesn't have Invincible Ben Simmons. He doesn't have Bull Bull. He's missing some of the top cards in the game. But he still has a really, really well-built squad that really is competitive across the board. Uh, just an elite all-around team. And I definitely like what I see out of this squad. So, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe you pick up Andre Iguodala. I think you could potentially pick him up over Wade just if you want more size and defense. But Wade is a better primary ball handler. So, honestly, I don't know if you make any upgrades. Mo is really the only upgrade that I think would actually improve your squad with what I'm looking at right now. But I just wanted to include this team in the video because I think this is a great picture of a well-built squad that uses free cards, budget cards, and uh, really doesn't have that many expensive cards. When you look at his team, I mean, Taco is going to be pretty expensive. Kareem and Giannis are relatively expensive as well, but Thon Maker's under 100K. Rudy Gay, same thing, very cheap. MJ is expensive, but MJ and Taco are his only two really, really expensive cards. Then you have a guy like Thon and Wade, as well as Rudy Gay, who are buyouts. Kareem and Giannis are just going to be between that 100 and 200,000 MT mark or so. So overall, really well built squad uh, that doesn't use quite as much MT as you would think, but is really a god squad in my team. Uh, next team today comes in from Stefan. He He's got this team. I'm going to be completely honest. It's not great. I think you can definitely do better. Um, he's got the lock in Jimmy Butler from the opening. Um, the end of the bench, guys, I would sell Giannis just, just to make whatever MT you can out of him. But you only have 4,000 MT and you have Yao Ming. And while Yao Ming is a very good card, he's a top sitter in the game. He's just way too expensive right now for the what your team is currently looking like. Honestly, most of these cards in your lineup, with the exception of guys like Josh Giddy, Bam Adebayo, uh, maybe Jimmy Butler, maybe Sean Camp, um, most of those guys I feel like really kind of need to be switched out. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this team, I will say, than I have spent on other teams in today's video. But that's because I just think you can sell Yao Ming and make a lot of changes on this squad. Yao's going for somewhere in the realm of 200 to 250,000 MT, and you sell him and you're going to have a much better MT pool to play with. We'll say you have around 200k MT. So I'm just going to build you a lineup with that 200k. Throw in the cards that you can still use, I think, out of the team that you have. Um, maybe you go Jimmy Butler at the backup two. Uh, you go Sean Kemp at the backup three. And then you go Bam at a bio at the backup four. So those four cards can slot in there at some point. Uh, and then I think at the point guard position, one guy you're going to want to pick up is Andre Iguodala. It's a pretty easy, pretty definitive upgrade. At the shooting guard position, I think a guy like Rudy Gay would be a great option. Small forward, you could go cheap, something like Danny Ferry. Uh, at the power forward position, I think you go Mobamba. And then you make sure you grind that uh, Minute Bowl challenge for a starting center. He's an absolutely elite center. And at the backup center, I think you could still run a guy like uh run a guy like ralph sampson if you wanted to but i just don't love that card uh even a i don't know power within kareem has probably gotten cheaper is a decent option something like this you may not have quite the mt to build this squad and maybe you just honestly do for the time being throw in ralph sampson as your backup center because he does still have size but i think if you could build something along the lines of this team which i'm 100 confident you can these are the only five cards you'd have to buy and combine they're definitely going to come out to less 200 than 200 000 mt it's actually only four cards because minutes free you build a team something like this you're going to be using your mt much better than just spending it all on one card and yao ming and this team is just significantly way better than this team that you have right now so that's my personal opinion on your squad two more teams to go next one comes in from jack but he plays on next he's got 1.3 million of t he's got mj and luca who are the two best guards on next gen uh richard jefferson Dwayne wade Giannis, lebron kareem bob nedelicki yao and minute same thing with your front court it's elite uh, i don't particularly uh, like love Giannis or i'm sorry lebron 
I don't think he's amazing. I think a guy like Thon Maker is much better and he's cheaper than LeBron. So for me personally, I would pick up Thon and play Giannis and Thon as your threes, sell LeBron. That's going to free up even a little bit more. So you're going to be sitting closer to 1.4 mil. And then I think what you do is you go pick up a shooting guard uh, just because I don't love Wade. Wade's a great card. Don't get me wrong. But I think having him next to Luca is kind of redundant because Wade's a point. Wade's a primary ball handler and Luca's definitely better on next gen. And I think having the size and defense will help you out. So there are a couple ways you can go about that. One way would be picking up a guy like um, if you have a free card, like a Malik Seely, a Michael Finley from Unlimited, Richard Jefferson from last. Oh, well, Richard Jefferson's in your team, but Malik Seely or Michael Finley, who are two of the free options. I think those are great options that you could buy. Uh, you could go for more of a defensive shooting guard. Even this is a guy like maybe George Mike. And, or if you wanted to go more expensive, which you could, he's very, very expensive, but I think he is absolutely an incredible card. One of the best cards in my team period. And that would be shooting guard Kawhi Leonard. He is something in the realm of 600,000 MT, which is going to be a lot of MT. It's going to leave you with around 800K left, but you run MJ Kawhi and then Luca Richard Jefferson off your bench. That That is an absolutely elite back right now. Honestly, once you pick up Thon as well at the three, you're going to have one of the best squads you can build. So for me personally, that is probably the realm that I would spend. Or I'm sorry, that was probably the avenue that I would go with because of how much MT you have left. And it'll still leave you with a lot of MT left to play with in future drops. So that's just my perspective. Um, feel free to do it or not, depending on what you want to do. And then finally, last team today comes in from uh, How Long Bill. I think that's what that says. He's no money spent. He's got 240K MT, Wade Conley, Malik Seeley, Iggy, Rudy Gay, John Isaac, Sean Kemp, Lamarcus Aldridge, Arvidas, Sabonis, and Bam Adebayo. And this is another solid squad, but I am going to use 2K. Or it's a solid start to a squad, but I think it can really be upgraded and translated into a really, really good all-around team, which is right now, it's not quite there, but it has the building blocks to become a really good team. So Wade and Malik, as you're starting, um, as your starting backcourt is really good. Andre Iguodala, I feel like is close to a must coming off your bench like you have him, but I would play him at the point guard, not the shooting guard position. Um, Rudy Gay, really, really good card as well. I'm totally cool with you running him. I just think... Ah, uh, you know what? I think Rudy Gay is good at the three. He's six eight. I think he's good at the three in your team. So I like the way your starting lineup is set up for the most part. Arvidas Sabonis at the five as well is actually very good. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move Arvidas to the backup center, and I'm going to again recommend that you knock out this minute bowl challenge. And you can get a top three center in the game for absolutely free. You have to take advantage of that and really uh, maximize your team's potential. Sean Kemp can be your backup three. He's a solid card, and then Bam Adebayo at the backup four is a very solid card as well. Then I recommend you pick up Mobamba, who's a card I've recommended for a few different teams in today's video and then off the bench i actually you know what i'm going to recommend and you might not quite have dmt for this but i think you could do something along the lines of this because the only cards that i've actually recommended you pick up so far is mobamba and then mj you know what go grab bob mcadoo this week's this week's exchange reward card he's a really good card very underrated i think you pick him up the only card you'll be buying at that point is picking up a guy like michael jordan you grind for minute bowl you grind for bob mcadoo you pick up hero michael jordan this team is really really good this squad not quite so much but honestly though you're going to be spending close to 200,000 mt or so on that hero jordan you'll still have a little bit of mt left to play with and this team is a much more successful team that you will have for the significant future because you have top cards like mj and minute to couple the other pieces that you already had in your squad so hopefully that does help you out and again hopefully y'all did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i upload this series every saturday so i have to put out a tweet about this series on my twitter every single friday night be on the lookout for a tweet over there on friday nights drop your team under there if you want to be included in the next episode twitter link is in the description below as well if you, if you don't have it so but yeah hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace